Hello, I'm Alvin from Boxit, and I'd like to show you how we made our first prototype of the Transcranial Direct Current Stimulation Device, or TDCS device. Now, this is a very cheap design to make. It costs around 5 to $10. However, this is indeed a prototype. It does not contain many essential things, such as a fuse to regulate current in case something goes bad. Now, in later versions, we are planning to do things such as an LED indicator, banana plugs to plug in easier, better sponges, and maybe even a battery indicator. However, ideas are still going on. Now, we may plan on selling these in the future, we don't know yet. However, if you would like us to do so, leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll consider it. But enough of that, let's get to building and let's start with the materials. A soldering iron, a hot glue gun, a multimeter, a perf board, a 12 volt battery, a 12 volt battery holder, a switch, an LM334Z transistor, a 5600 ohm carbon film resistor, and a 33 ohm carbon film resistor. Some additional materials and tools. These include scissors, electrical tape, wire strippers, two small sponges, two alligator clips, and a fairly long piece of wire so that you can reach your head from a distance. The first step is to take your transistor and you need to take the three legs and you need to insert it into three of the holes of the perf board. Now make sure the flat side is facing the left when you're doing this. Now fold the three pins down so that the transistor stays in place. Next what you need to do is you need to take the 33 ohm resistor and you need to put it a couple of holes in front of the transistor. And once you've inserted it, pull the legs so that it stays in place. Now bend the resistor legs down so that it doesn't wiggle around. Next, take your 5600 ohm resistor and you need to put it in the middle of the 33 ohm resistor and the transistor only a little bit below. Now when you insert this in, you need to also fold the legs back so that it stays in place. We have three resistor legs that are sticking out. Cut them using a pair of scissors. The three resistor legs are now the correct length. As you see, the resistor leg of the 5600 ohm resistor is sticking out and ready to be connected to the switch. Now we need to solder the legs of the resistor to the legs of the transistor. Take your soldering iron and take some solder and begin soldering the legs to each other. Now take a note, the longest leg that we haven't cut yet is not going to be soldered at this time. We're going to solder it later to the switch. Now we need to hot glue the battery holder to the top left of the perf board. Make sure the wire on the right side of the battery holder is the negative wire. We are going to be soldering it to the last leg of the transistor later on. After your battery holder is hot glued onto the top left of the perf board, what you're going to need to do is use a pair of scissors and cut the wire so that it reaches the last leg of the transistor without sticking out. After you've cut the wire, use a pair of wire strippers to strip the end of the wire so that you can solder the uninsulated part that you've just stripped to the transistor leg. After you solder the negative wire to the last leg of the transistor, all the transistor wiring should be complete. Next, take a switch and hot glue it below the battery holder. What you are going to need is a toggle switch so you can turn your electricity on and off. When it's closed, the electricity flows, and when it's open, the electricity doesn't flow. You can have as many pins as you want on the switch, but we only need to use two of them. After you glue the switch on, now it's time to connect the wires. Do you remember the 5600 ohm resistor leg? we're going to need to connect that to the switch. Connect the resistor leg to any of the pins that you want. However, the wire that's going to be leaning out must be adjacent to the pin. That means it must be side by side. 
Okay, now it's time to connect the device to the sponges by using alligator clips. But first, we need to make the wire longer so it can reach our head from somewhere such as your pocket. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach a long piece of copper wire to both the positive and the negative wires. Now that you've extended your wires, use wire strippers to strip the ends of these two wires so that they can be connected to alligator clips. Take a note, these two alligator clips have metal screws to connect the wires to. However, I'm going to show you a technique to make sure that the wire doesn't fall and it could be used on any alligator clip. Now what you want to do is you want to take the uninsulated part of the copper wire and you want to double coil it around the alligator clip. By doing this, the copper and the alligator clip will touch, meaning the electricity will transfer and the wire will not fall off. Now that you have the wire attached to the alligator clip, all you need to do next is connect it to the sponge. Now make sure you do this very tightly so that the electricity actually transfers. After this, all you need to do is put on salt water on the sponges, and we're ready to test. Now it's time to measure the amount of electricity the TDCS device gives out so that we don't shock our brain with too much electricity. To accomplish this, we're going to use a multimeter. Take your sponges and dip them into a small amount of salt water. Make sure your device is turned on, and what you need to do now is connect the positive and negative of the multimeter to the positive and negative sponges. When we measured the amount of electricity given off, we set our multimeter to the milliamp setting. Now, if you've built this device correctly, it should give off 1.5 milliamps. Here demonstrating for us is Nathaniel from Boxit, as my hair is too long to do so. So the first step is to place the negative sponge on your right shoulder. The next sponge goes to the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, which is located on the left side of the head where he puts it. This is the positive sponge. After you simultaneously place both sponges where I've instructed you to do so, keep them there for around half an hour and you should be done. Now make sure not to do this for more than an hour because you might see immediate effects such as flashing lights, nausea, or even fatigue. If you guys have stayed here watching for this long, I thank you for watching this video. Sometime in the future we'll post a new and improved version, so make sure you subscribe to watch as soon as it comes out. Post a comment on what you want to see next, and as always, have a nice day.